Let's hear it for Stephen Matthews. Thank you guys for staying so late. God damn, I was taking a nap back there. Payday, Labor Day weekend, how y'all feeling? You get excited about payday still? And then five minutes later, you subtract all your bills? I ain't got shit to spend this weekend. God damn. It's gonna be a red box and a ring pop this weekend. You start rearranging your date, movies and a dinner. Just stay at home and play Madden, baby. Let's just play Madden. That's, that's nice. You can be the Saints. That's alright. You can be the Saints. You can be the best team. Nothing wrong with that. You ever be so broke you look in that fridge? You got like three things trying to make a meal out of it. Like shit, and the bologna, eggs and rice. And you gotta come back just in case some food magically appeared. <laughs> took a bathroom break and came back in. All of a sudden that bologna, rice and eggs start looking good. You made a meal, it's like shit, it ain't that bad. Another thing too, Facebook. I know everybody's talking about Facebook. Probably all y'all got Facebooks, anybody? Facebook? Yay. Yeah. 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 I call it the gift and the curse. It's the curse because you can never lie at work. You know, you can never call in sick and then update your status and be at the beach. You know, it just doesn't, it doesn't fly. Or if you got those annoying friends, you know, they always want to see what you're doing for the weekend. Like, man, I'm just going to stay at home and, you know, chill. Nothing too big. But you actually going to Vegas. And then Monday, they check your thing, and it's like, Steve just posted a, a new album, Vegas, the wildest fucking weekend ever. <laughs> Thought you was staying at home. It's like, God damn. And it's also the gift, because you also got those same friends you don't like to talk to, and when their birthday comes up, you don't have to call them. You just write, happy birthday, and that's it. You ever get those friends that pop up on that instant message? Like, hey, what you doing? Try to hurry to log out right quick? <laughs> oh, Steve's offline. God damn. And they try to text you. Hey, what you doing? Fuck. I'm trying to get away from you. Shit. And it's also the curse because I don't, you just always get caught up. It's like you can never lie and say, like, man, I'm at the club. And if you have a girlfriend, she you know, wants to know where you at all the time, so you can never post pictures. Bad way of getting caught up. <coughs> I moved out here from Texas, as you heard. Tried to do the acting thing. Did a couple of commercial auditions, and um, the good thing about that is, you know, you get paid, but the bad thing is, like, people remember you for the stuff you do. <laughs> like, you see somebody from, like, you know, McDonald's commercial, like, hey, that's A, you Da, 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 da. I don't love and yeah, you know, they all got that little tagline. They don't know your name, so they say what you what you did. And I, I can never do a shake weight commercial because I just <laughs> like I don't want to be remembered for that. Like, hey, hey! That's you, right? Shake weight guy. Damn. <laughs> or Valtrex commercials, like who wants to be like the herpes guy. <laughs> and they always got that billboard, like that's the happiest shit in the world. They're like, I haven't had a flare up in months. <laughs> but the shit could come back at any time. <laughs> it's not like it's gone. It's, oh. Shit is there forever. Oh. Another thing about commercials, like, for black people, like, we. We get mad no matter what. I, I figured out that black people, you cannot win in a commercial. Take, for instance, a cleaning commercial. They got the white lady cleaning up the house. We at the house watching like, why she gotta be doing it? Why can't you give black people a role? Next thing you know, they got a black person doing the cleaning thing. Oh, that's all we do? That's all we do is clean up? That's all the fuck we do is clean up? And the KFC, you know, they got the Colonel Sanders, like, really, really, a white guy created fried chicken, really? <laughs> what do they do? They got the new black Popeyes lady. Hey, baby, come on, get some of my fried chicken. That's how we talk, that's how we talk, y'all, that's how we do. That's how we talk now, we just make fried chicken and big, that's how we do. <laughs> Never wins, like, goddamn, they gave us a part, shit. <laughs> I was 
watching a commercial of the day, the, the iPad. Anybody got any iPads out here? Woo! Yeah. They got this, the commercial, they, he was holding the iPad up in the, in the stars, and it was showing like what was, which constellation, I was like, God damn! Can you imagine if we could use that for what we wanted to? Guys? <laughs> you want to use it on those girls? At the club? <laughs> Lights are on, dim. She's looking good. Take out that iPad, hit that app, see what she looks like without all that damn makeup. Ah. Never mind, I'll pass. <laughs> or you out having lunch with the, you know, with your girl or whatever, or just somebody you dating. She says, hey, you wanna go back to my place? You do, right? Take out that iPad, hold it up to her. Scroll down, but nah, she's on her period. Never mind. <laughs> I think I'll just come back next week. <laughs> Don't worry, girls, I got y'all. Girls, you know, guys always want to brag about their size. Take out your iPad. <laughs> like, no, I think I'm just going to go home and read a book. <laughs> All the smart girls, though, you just move that iPad a little to the left. But hold on, this nigga got Porsche keys. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will take him up on that offer. <laughs> Thank y'all, that's my time, y'all been great.